Well, 2023 was the hottest year on record by far, and scientists say that we will continue to see record-breaking years as the planet warms if we don't get CO2 emissions down to zero. One industry with a surprisingly high percentage of emissions, buildings and construction. It is responsible for 38% of worldwide emissions, with concrete alone accounting for 8% of global emissions. Our next guest runs a company that is looking to bring that number down to zero. They have developed the world's first building material that avoids emissions and removes carbon from the atmosphere. Joining us now, NBA superstar turned actor turned climate tech CEO, we've got Rick Fox, Partana, Partana, founder and CEO with us here in studio. Great to have you here. Thank you, Brad. Absolutely. Pleasure to be here. I mean, you, you've had a busy jam-packed schedule to start off this year. We, you were just at the World Economic Forum in Davos as well. Yeah. You know, when you think about how much work still needs to be done and, and whether or not world leaders are heeding that that charge and that um, that need to make a severe change and where your company comes into play there. You know, what was the tone, the tenor that you kind of sensed from the discussions? It was my first Davos, uh, but I have to say that I was in, engaged and in, char in charge with the, ex the excitement around new positive building materials uh, to add to the construction industry space, choices that are more nature positive. We discussed, we debated where we go in the world here now today around this, this uh, area and this challenge around uh, heat and climate change. Uh, and we discussed CCUS, we discussed Partana as a solution to uh, carbon absorption and removal. And so we're one of the players, one of the solutions in the future here that can add to to change in the way we build in the world for good. When you talk about the, the material and the difference for, for Partana and what you're bringing to the market, naturally, a lot of the attention will go towards, okay, well, what's this gonna cost us? How much different is the, the cost between the existing concrete right. that people have become accustomed to that creates an emissions problem right. versus what Partana is bringing to the market? So I, I will give you comfort in the area of, we currently have customers, so, those out there that want to make the change from the traditional materials that are being used to more nature positive uh, materials. Uh, they're making uh, decisions around purchasing our materials, which is great. Depending on the product, mm -hmm. there's a large scale and spectrum from high end products all the way down to affordable housing. So where we are in the Bahamas right now, under the leadership of the Prime Minister of the Bahamas and the government of the Bahamas, we're building affordable housing, some thousand homes there, where the materials there, are obviously the margins are lower in that regard, uh, all the way up to higher end developers where we're building materials and structures for high end development, luxury developments. So you'll get the wide range of the price in general, depending on where you are in the world, determines where you're getting materials from. Concrete in general, cement as a binder in general, has fluctuated in, as a commodity for many years, mm -hmm. many decades. Ours will be no different. When you think of uh, the price, just think of us as a simple plug and play. Uh, for cement, we take the binder of cement out of the production of concrete and we plug Partana in. So no extra equipment is needed. All the aggregates and materials that would make concrete with regular cement, you use our Partana as a solution. And then uh, scaling, what, what does that look like for the business as you think about the roadmap for this right. point going forward? Well, the two, uh, the two challenges and I think our business model are scaling uh, because it requires CapEx mm -hmm. and also change, getting people to adapt to a new way of being, right? Uh, as you can imagine, uh, CapEx and building factories is not the easiest thing for an investor out there in your audience to get excited about. But as you can see from CCUS, uh, billions are being poured into that execution. Now we avoid and remove CO2 in the process of making our concrete without the use of extensive energy. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we cure at room temperature. So you take our, our materials and through the magic of chemistry, you get to a concrete without the negativity uh, that's produced from energy in the area of CCUS. Uh, at the end of the day, Rick Fox is not the scientist in the room, so we can all relax. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, my history uh, being from the physical arts and sports and also in the entertainment arts uh, is now pushing me to be an innovator in the area of team building. Right and the area of bringing the brightest minds in the world. And when I point about the science around our, our Partana, uh, we have some of the greatest scientists in the world that worked on this for six years. Uh, they've been innovating concrete for decades. This happens to be their greatest contribution to the world right now, bringing this material to the world. Uh, excited that uh, their work will be seen from the lab to actual commercialization, which is usually the biggest challenge. Right. We talk about the financing of something like that, the scaling of something like that, and then also the challenges around getting people to adopt something like that. Uh, I, would, I would challenge people and comfort people with the news that when you are verified stringently 
globally by the verifying bodies, ASTMs, interlockins, any right. international standard. I promise you that we would not be allowed to build structurally anywhere in the world if it wasn't approved by the architects and the engineers and the technical folks that make sure that when you when a person walks into a building, yeah. it is safe for them to be in. We've passed all of those standards. Uh, we now are moving to commercialization uh, and we're finding the partners that want to innovate in the world, that want to make these changes uh, and bring these materials to, to bear. Uh, you have had a storied and, and perhaps one of the most interesting men type of lives. Uh, when we think about, I mean, I, I thought you'd be the next Dos Equis man at some point, uh. just the most interesting man in the world, um, with the different kind of avenues that you've had, professional sports, acting, and then you think now as climate tech investor, CEO, mm -hmm. when you think about and, and I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you a sports question here, but when you think about some of the deals that are coming forward right now and the new way that sports are being consumed, you know, how does that set up for the next fan that's out there that's engaging with sports, engaging with athletes, and how has that kind of materially changed even since the time that you were uh, having in, at the peak of your career, too? Yeah, I was blessed to grow up in an era in the NBA where, where athletes were moving towards uh, a life after basketball is something on the forefronts of their minds. You look at the Magic Johnsons, you look at today's athletes uh, in LeBron James, individuals that understand their impact, understand that their skills on the floor can also translate off the floor, right? Uh, I've just simply taken what I've learned under some of the greatest coaches in the world, Phil Jackson, Dean Smith, I've taken what they taught me about uh, teamwork and the building of a successful journey towards a championship output, and I've incorporated it and layered it into my business life. Um, why am I the leader of Partana? Simply put, as a founder, uh, I'm answering and solving an innovative question that has to come to the world. I have to thank the Prime Minister of the Bahamas who took the innovation, the courage, and took an innovative step to invite us to come to the Bahamas and work from the front line of climate change, right? And so it takes, it takes the courage that you would say to get up every day, uh, uh, play the game of, of, of climate technology now instead of basketball, take the wins and the losses and, 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 complete, and completely search out on a daily basis those teammates that can join that journey, that care about the mission of changing the way we build in the world as a more important mission than their own individual goals. Uh, and that's what we have today. We have a team at Partana that mirrors one of the greatest teams I've ever been on. Yeah. And, and I know we talked about your Sixers, and I'm a dear Larry. I'm, <laughs> oh, a dear Larry I'm sorry, I'm a dear Larry Brown fan and yeah. an Allen Iverson fan. But the success we had there under the likes of the Shaq and the Kobe, right. great talented individuals are no different than this team at Partana with great talented scientists, me leading that just to make sure that their innovation gets out into the world. And if it starts in the Bahamas, a little small island, yeah under the leadership of Prime Minister Davis, and it ends up in the world, that's where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to get out into the world. Rick, great to have you here in studio with us. Thanks great so much for taking Brad. the time. Rick Fox joining us here Thank on you. Yahoo Finance, everyone.